小心。going on ladies and gentlemen today we are going to take a look at this Riker grip from Riker and I know it looks a little funny it looks a little gimmicky but before you close the video please just hear me out and hear what I have to say before we get started of course I have to do my disclosure yes I work in the firearms industry but that will not affect this video in any way shape or form yes Riker did send me this grip and one of their slings free of charge to keep but that will also not affect this video in any way shape or form let me quickly thank my patreon supporters thank you guys and my three channel sponsors especially blackout coffee company i am recording this very very early on a saturday morning and this coffee is keeping me going like I said, I know these things look strange and they're very, very different. When a good buddy of mine reached out to me and said, Tiberius, you got to check this out. I was like, mm, no, no. He's like, dude, trust me. It's awesome. you got to check it out. No, no, I'm good. He's like, let me put you in contact with the owner. I was like, all right, fine. I, I respect the dude. I, uh, I wanted to hear what he had to say. So uh, I got on the phone with the owner. I spoke to the owner for a good half hour. And I went from mm, no, no, to absolutely send me one. Let me try it out. No promises that I'm going to do a review on it. But let me at least check it out and, and see what it's all about. Uh, the owner was a master sergeant in the Marines. He served for 20 years. When he, thank you for your service. When he got out of the Marines, he had some physical limitations that didn't allow him really to hold up an AR-15 anymore and that's where the idea for the Riker grip came from. He partnered with two of his marine buddies to start the company and then they partnered with a biomechanical specialist, physical therapists, competition shooters, medical doctors, special operations physicians. I can never say that word and with all that data they gathered and came up that's where the Riker grip came from and the competition shooter was the one that stood out in that group because obviously they're not a doctor or a therapist but one thing I noticed when you're shooting this and, it, and your hands out there it allows you to get really really good leverage and when you're transitioning from target to target it is significantly faster. And now comes the ironic part. About two or three weeks after I agreed to take a look at this Riker grip, I actually hurt my elbow. I got really, really bad tendonitis and I'm going for an x-ray and MRI soon because it actually may be worse than that. I've been going to physical therapy for a couple months now and it's starting to get better, but not, uh, it's not as far along as it should be. But I will say having the Riker grip on the side made a really, really big difference in the pain that I feel in my elbow. When I grab the gun in a normal C-clamp type grip that I have, there's, there's some pain and and whatnot in my elbow and obviously I'm not even shooting. Something about inverting my hand on the side of the rail, there's virtually no pain in my elbow. It's just, I don't, I don't feel it. Um, again, I, I'm not gonna get into the biomechanics of it because I am not a biomechanics expert by any means. Um, there is some videos and some facts on the Riker website if you wanted to learn more about the biomechanics behind it. The only thing I can say as a shooter, rotating that hand out to the side, made a very, very big difference for my elbow pain. Uh, it does come with a Picatinny adapter, the adapter to hook right on the side if you have a Picatinny rail there, or a quad rail, or if you add a pick rail to your M-Lock slots, that is the adapter that it comes with. Um, it also does come with this Allen key, and there is a screw here in the middle. You just back that screw out, and that's how you take it on and off this uh, post. Um, the post I have on here is a direct to M-Lock adapter because my rail is M-Lock and I didn't want to buy an extra adapter. 
Um, you can screw this onto your M-Lock and then just screw the uh, Riker grip onto the post. Now I do recognize that these are a little expensive for what they are. The grip itself comes in at $75 and then the M-Lock adapter, if you purchase that separately, that's another $25. But keep in mind, this is a small company. I doubt they're pumping out millions of these grips like Magpul does with their magazines. Uh, and everything is made in America. So you're gonna pay a little bit premium to have something uh, made here in the States. Now a few rapid fire facts. This is Ambi for lefties or righties. You can flip the grip around, put it on the other side and switch it out. It is made from a polymer type material. It is 100% legal on an AR-15 rifle or an SBR. If you have an AR pistol, uh, four grips are technically not legal. I don't know how this one will play because it's on the side, but I wouldn't post any pictures of this on an AR pistol is all I'm gonna say. Um, Obviously don't put the grip too close to the end of the rifle. If your hand's way out here near the muzzle device and you shoot, ow, oh, that is going to hurt. Uh, I made the mistake of having my rifle sling on the outside of the Riker grip and the uh, sling was getting in the way. Uh, when the owner saw that, he said, hey, Tiberius, put the, put the uh, swing sling swivel uh, on the other side of the Riker grip and it won't get in the way. So I've had this on my rifle for about five months and I've shot at least five to 600 rounds through a rifle with this grip attached. And I did a ton, I tried to do a bunch of different type of drills uh, to really get a good understanding of what's like having the grip on here. One of my concerns was it going to snag on stuff, especially when you sling the rifle on your back or sling it tight to your chest. And I didn't have any issues with it snagging on anything. I had, uh, I did a lot of tactical games type workouts where I'm shooting, slinging the rifle, lifting, carrying, running, jumping, that type of stuff. I did a lot of transitioning uh, from rifle to pistol. And it's really, really good when you have your hand on the Riker grip to help you get the rifle out of the way. It's actually easier to get the rifle out of the way to transition to your side arm. I also did a lot of transitioning from target to target, and that's another thing. The Riker grip really helps you transition from target to target extremely well. Shooting on a barricade, uh, it was really nice to brace myself and use the Riker grip as like a stop. Um, and I pushed pretty hard. I was kind of worried that it was polymer and the base was polymer, but I didn't have any problems, no cracking, anything like that. And I, I put some good force behind it, really leaned into the barricade and it was really, really good. Uh, overall, I'm going to say these grips are one of those things you really need to try it to appreciate it. You know, don't judge a book by its cover if possible. If you have any type of upper body injury, if you have um, issues with upper body strength, oh, if you are a competitive shooter, anything like that at all, it is a no-brainer and I definitely would recommend it to anybody in those categories. If not, it's still a good product, a good option. If you are interested in it, I wouldn't hesitate to get it, even if you don't have any injuries or upper body strength issues. You know, for example, I see a ton of guys who compete in the tactical games run these grips, and most of them are very, very fit, very healthy, they do not have any injuries, and they use it because they see a benefit of being able to control the rifle and transition and those type of things that they run them, even though physically they don't need to have it on them. So I'm going to leave this Riker grip on this rifle uh, at least for the next couple months while my elbow is uh, banged up and I'm trying to get it to heal. And uh, once I'm all healed up, we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to leave it on there past or not. I'll see how it feels when I am fully healthy. Right now, it's a no-brainer. It is a very, very big help to me. And in the future, we'll, we'll see what happens in the future. I do not know. So thank you guys very, very much for watching. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. If you are looking to support the channel, the best way to support the channel is on Patreon. If you are not willing and able to support me on Patreon, no big deal. Just keep the likes and the comments coming because they really, really help me out. Now, if you want to know what videos I have coming out next, please consider subscribing to the channel and enabling the bell notification. This way, YouTube will hopefully let you know when I come out with a new video. If you want to know what those videos I am working on right now in real time are, consider following me on Instagram, Facebook, and or Parler. The link to all three are down in the video description. I mentioned it in the beginning of the video, but I do have three channel sponsors. The first one is USCCA for all of your self-defense education, self-defense training, and self-defense insurance. Second is going to be Dangerous But Good 
for all of your pro gun and Christian clothing, hats, coats, jackets, all that good stuff. Third, but certainly not least, is Blackout Coffee Company for all of your coffee and tea and caffeine needs. One more time, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace. Thank you.